All right, guys, David Dodge, the discount property investor. Today, I am going to be adding a property to uh, REI Black Book. I'm going to teach you guys how to disposition a property like a pro, okay? This is uh, basically how we sell all of our properties over on REI Black Book. Um, been using REI Black Book since I think 2014, maybe even late 2013. So going on like seven years. And they have uh, an amazing tool for dispositions. Now, REI Black Book will actually do a lot of stuff here. Um, but for the sake of this video, we are actually just going to be focusing our time and efforts today on the disposition engine over on REI Black Book. So let me pull REI Black Book up. And guys, if you are not already using REI Black Book, it, it's an awesome tool. Uh, again, we have been using it for a really long time. And uh, Mike and I, we just really like it. It's just simple to use. Um, so again, that's, that's why we're using it. It's really, really simple to use. And um, we've done, I don't even know, 500 plus deals over here. So let's go ahead and log into our system. And what we can do is we can click on the closed. Look at this. There's 553 closed deals in here as of right now. So if we click on this, I mean, this is these are all the deals that we've essentially added to the system. Um, let's see if we can filter by the status deal type. Oh, we'll just click on the closed and yep all of these deals some of these are marked as dead but some of these are closed so all the closed ones in here are deals that we have successfully wholesaled so this system is just really 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 amazing um, you can do tons of marketing in here it's also a full-blown CRM right so you can um, add your leads in here it has a phone system they have a driving for dollars app as well that they use with it um, and it's just a, it's just kind of a, an all-in-one place to go work your leads all right so what we are gonna do is we are going to go to the discountpropertyinvestor.com and this is our disposition page so you can see we only have a couple on here right now we've got this uh, this 2543 Woodson looks like we're asking about a half a million for that and then we got uh, this little guy here, this little slummer, little two bed, one bath. And we're asking 14 grand up in Florissant for that one. And then we have 8420 Airport Road. And we're asking 250 for that commercial space. Actually, not a bad deal. I think brings in about $3,300 a month. Um, so, yeah, we got a couple deals here. I'm actually going to be adding a new one today. So, um, I went out on an appointment uh, last week. And it was actually, I was in Illinois showing some properties. And on my way home from Illinois, I was able to um, talk to a lady that had a property kind of in the Cahokia area. It's not a great area by any means, uh, but it's not a bad property though, right? The property itself. So let's go into our Dropbox and let's pull that up. Uh oh. And that property, let's see here. Let's go to all my files. And actually, we're going to go to home. I want to look for the activity here. This is my recent. Show 10 more. There's gas. So I'm going to have to search it. That's OK. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over here to our Podio. This is where we had this in, and we are going to go to the wholesale section here and then click on our offers. And it's going to be one of these here that just came over yesterday, and it's this one here. So it's 120 Laurel Drive in Cahokia. So I'm basically going to take this back over to REI Black Book, and I'm going to click Add a New Property. So this is the process right here. 
that we use when we disposition a property, right? And this is basically um, what we do on every single deal. And again, we've done this over 550 times. REI Black Book makes it incredibly easy. So again, this is the process, right? So we log into REI Black Book, we click add a new property, and then we're gonna paste in our address. So I'm gonna take the city and I'm gonna add that there. My state is Illinois. My zip code is 62206. And then what I like to do is leave the zip code on this part so it shows up on my front end website, right? And this website I built using REI Blackbook. They have a whole tool um, for web tools, for domains, websites, landing pages. I mean, this is like the like the full stop shop, guys. This, this CRM is pretty awesome. Um, I Full transparency, we just use it for dispositions. Uh, we're in Podio as well as Real Estate Investors Touch uh, for different reasons. But if you wanted to just have one place to go, REI Blackbook could do all of this for you if you um, you know have the time to learn how to use all of it. But regardless, they have a marketing engine. You can see call flows, workflows, campaign trackers, broadcast. Profit Dial is their phone system. It was an inbox for calling and texting. Web tools gives you websites, landing pages, domains. And then, of course, you can analyze your deals. You have a whole system for contacts, a whole place for tasks. Uh, you know, this is one of the best CRMs out there for real estate investors. So again, back to what I was doing, I'm adding a property here, 120 Laura Lee Drive, 62206 in Cahokia, Illinois. Next, I want to add in my bed and my bath. And it's been a minute since I was out there. It's probably been a week. So I want to just pull this up on Realtor or Zillow. Zillow is actually going to be easier. Um, it looks like it's not showing a bed and bath. I know it's a two one, but 950 square foot and that's it. That's the house right there. Wow. That's a really old picture because it doesn't really, I don't think it has those trees in the front. Those trees are gone. And this is from, I'm almost positive that maybe they are there either way. Uh, that's the property right there. All right. That I have under contract. So I'm going to be adding in, let's go back over to REI Black Book. It's a 2-1 with one bath, and it's 950 square feet. So I don't really need to add any notes. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to click Save. And now what it's going to do is it's going to take us over to our lead sheet. So I could add in additional information here, but not, any, not, not all this stuff is required. There is certain things that I like to do, though. So I like to put single family. Um, I like to put the year built if I can. Usually I can find that pretty easily off of Zillow. And it looks like this one was built in 1958. So I'll put 1958 in right here. And that's really all I need over here on my lead sheet. So if I wanted to have contacts or if I did and I was using their their system for all, all of my business, I would have my contacts here. I could go in and I can create my repair list right here as well. And this can help with the marketing or just anal analyzing it. Uh, they do have the ability to run comps on the property. Uh, this one, it doesn't look like it's pulling too much data back, but that's okay. Sold price, it looks like it sold in 2003 for about 17 grand. Um, I have this property under contract for five. Originally, it was thirty-five hundred. Um, one of the sellers said that they, you know, wanted more, and I said, "Well, let me see what I can do, guys." I I was very, very, very transparent, and I said, "I personally can't pay you five grand for this house," and that's kind of just a little lesson about wholesaling in general. You know, I personally can't pay you five grand for this property. However, I bought a hundred houses last year, and I bring a partner in on every single one of my deals. So let me go to work for you and find that partner. And if that partner is willing to buy, then we can get it done. I was very transparent with this seller. So she is well aware of what's going on and, and, and all that type of good stuff, right? So back over here to, make that a little bigger here, back over here to REI Black Book. Um, we have um, some comps in here. You can, you can use this analyzer tool as well to put in your purchase price and kind of basically get you a, a total profit or even an MAO calculator. Um, if we did use this for offers, there's a little offer area, tasks, 
uploads and notes and marketing. So basically, I'm gonna skip all of that and I'm gonna go over to the marketing tab. Now, once I'm in the marketing tab, there's a bunch of more tabs that are below that tab. Plus, you have a bunch of just areas to fill in information, right? So I like to keep it simple. Um, I'm not gonna really be going through a lot of all this stuff right here, but you can you can see for yourself. There's details, there's a website. You could have an individual website or you could have it go to your main website, which mine is this one. Um, so and so forth. So I'm just going to show you guys how I do it, right? So I do want to go back over to Dropbox because I need to pull out these photos. So 120 Laura Lee. We're going to go over here and we're going to select or do a search, and there it is. Boom. There's my folder with my photos right there. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all of these and I'm going to just download. So this is going to download all of those photos that I took from my iPhone when I was out there just last week, guys. So if we can take a look at these real quick, large grid while it's downloading. And here's the picture. So, I mean, it's, it definitely needs some work. I estimated the work at maybe eight or 10,000. Um, you know, all in all, it's, it's a slab property uh, that needs a roof. And then it just needs, you know, some cosmetic work for the most part. So the ceiling is gonna be, need to be replaced, but that's easy, that's just drywall. And once you fix the roof, then you shouldn't have any more issues. Uh, it's a two bedroom, one bath, 950 square foot house, guys. So there's really not a lot to this property. Um, it does, it is right next door to the Worth Middle School. Literally, it backs up to it, right? So from the backyard, you can see in this photo right here, you know, that's the school, you know? So their yard is fenced in. However, you know, behind their fenced in yard, there is like five football fields of just empty ground right so that is definitely an appealing thing um but that's it i mean it's, it's basically pretty simple so now that i've dropped that file down i'm just going to put that on my desktop for a second here and i'm basically done with dropbox right so i can head back over to rei black book and what i'm going to do is i'm going to click on my uploads area i'm going to upload files i'm going to open up this particular folder and I'm just gonna copy and paste all of those photos from this folder. Oh, Apple's got a new, a new thing. It looks a little different. So I'm literally gonna just select all those, drag those over to REI Blackbook, and those are just gonna just start uploading into REI Blackbook. And that's how you get your photos over there. So it's really, you know, not rocket science, guys. I'm just taking, just taking pictures with my phone. Um, now, how did we come across this lead? Hey, this is actually, uh, while this is uploading, I'm gonna just teach you guys a little something here. This lead actually was from a referral, all right? I'm in a couple masterminds, and I have a friend who is uh, in Illinois, and he does AdWords marketing for the entire state, but he lives close to Chicago, so he doesn't necessarily like driving all the way down to, you know, right across the river here. Cahokia is basically right you know, right next to East St. Louis, right? So it's not too far from me, but for him it was a pain in the ass. So this lead came from an AdWords lead that he paid for and he just gave it to me. And I just said, hey, if I can make something of this, I would be more than happy to kick you back something in terms of a referral fee uh, just for the lead. But you know, I'm not gonna pay you for it because who knows if it's gonna make me money or if it's gonna be worth my time, you know, so on, so forth. So the lead source was actually a referral from my buddy um, who ran AdWords, all right? So these photos are still here uploading, and that's all good. We're gonna let that do its thing here. And then once those are done, we're gonna go in and we're gonna fill in a little description, and we're gonna basically just click a couple buttons to turn it on, and then that property will show up on my website. And that's another cool feature why I really like REI Blackbook because it's just very simple to get the property added on the website. And then from there, once it's on the website, I can use REI Blackbook to do an email blast or an SMS blast, or I can just go over to REI Blackbook and find the specific link and email it out on another platform or SMS it out on another platform as well, all right? So again, very, very, very simple. This is our website. Um, we basically just use one of their templates and just modified it and add our logo in. I think we maybe spent an hour or two building this website, guys. That's it. We've been using it for like four or five years. Uh, we do allow people to make an offer on one of our properties from this website. 
uh, which is, uh-oh, Podio refused to connect that one. It's just a Podio form that we use to auto-generate, so I'm going to have to look into that. But I'm glad that I'm in here doing this right now, right? Keep it simple. All right, back over to RI Black Book. It looks like we have, uh, you know, an import going on here. So I think what I can do is without disturbing that window, is just create a new one. Nope, it's going to make me wait. That's okay. No problem. Sometimes I get a little impatient here. So these photos are getting added in. And the cool thing, though, is once they do get added in, uh, I have the ability to drag and drop these photos or remove these photos uh, because whenever we're over on the front end of our website, like, for example, this one here, um, the property photos, you know, you can scroll through these. And, wow, look at this one here. This one's needing a lot. Looks like it was a fire damage property. That's exactly what that one is. Okay. So we only have a couple pictures of this one, but we do have our property details, right? And that's in the form of a description. We have a map right here. So these are all just built into the REI Black Book site. Like we didn't add any of this. It's just the way that it works, right? Here's our map. You can also see like a neighborhood score. So like car dependent or some transient, you know, or somewhat bikeable, which, you know, it could be very helpful for landlords. And then, of course, we want to see what schools the property is in so all these features are just built right on in uh, they can pick up the phone and they can call us which uh our number is is it not on this page it's probably in the description yep right there okay but they can also fill out this form and it just sends us an email so then we can oh you guys aren't looking at my screen i'm sorry property descriptions here right then we have our map right there i need to pay more attention dave wake up and then the neighborhood is here, car dependent, some transit, some bikeable, right? And then of course our school. So these little tabs are just kind of built in. Our photos go right here and we can make this a full full picture type of photo to like look at actually this property. So we have this under contract and we're marketing it, guys. We don't own it, right? It's very rare that, that we will even buy properties unless it's a fix and flip for us or a rental property that we want to keep as a rental. Otherwise, we wholesale everything, right? That's just kind of how our business operates. Keep the best, wholesale the rest, right? Everything else we're gonna wholesale off. So it looks like we're almost done uploading our pictures. If you guys got any questions, drop a question. Um, let me know what market you guys are in and where you're watching me from as well. I'm located, it looks like Bosco asked a question. I'm located in the St. Louis, Missouri market. My market is right here, dead center in the Midwest, St. Louis, Missouri. And I've been doing this full time for about six years, seven years, I guess at this point, give or take. Been investing in real estate for probably 15 or 16 years, uh, but only full time for, let's say maybe six, give or take. So this is almost done. And once this is done, we're gonna head back over to our marketing tab and we're gonna add in just a little bit of marketing information. There's really not that much um, that we're gonna need to add in, right? But I am kind of curious in terms of like an ARV of this pr property. So I'm gonna go over here and actually look it up on PropStream. PropStream pulls data from the MLS, guys. It's, it's where I run all my comps. I have MLS access. Uh, but I still just like going over to PropStream because it's just easy to use and it's just uh, it just has a really clean user face, right? So I didn't see any comps or any Zestimate or anything like that on Zillow. Also didn't look too hard. But let's go over here to PropStream and see what they estimate this property. They have an estimated value of 83000 Now, I don't know if, I'm, if, I'm, if I buy that uh, for based upon the street and you know the quality of the houses on the street so on and so forth so i'm probably not going to use an estimated value of 80 um, but that's good it's better to have a high estimated value than a low estimated value if my estimated value was 10 grand well that's not going to be much helpful information in terms of you know helping me market all right so our upload has been complete and you can see here here's all of the photos if i wanted to download edit or delete i could do so now, once I head back over to my marketing and I scroll down, I can actually see all of the photos here. So what I like to do is instead of having to label all of these, I am just going to just click and drag and move all of the ones of the front of the house or like the outside up to the top. Right. I want those 
pictures to be the first ones that people see just so it's easy for them to know what what I have like what am I actually selling right so again I'm just gonna drag all these up hang tight with me and also I like to just kind of organize it's like I don't need this one this property this is just of those concrete so like you can just delete them out of here just just as easy but again I want to move all these up make them look easy for somebody that's looking through this to to navigate right start with the outside then work your way to the inside so we'll put that there we got a couple more that we're moving up here uh bosco says he's in east st louis oh no no that was me <laughs> i'm in st louis this is near east st louis that's right chris is from colorado springs welcome guys welcome all right so let's see here this is of the field i can leave that that's of the field so we do have a couple of the exterior that i want to move up here put that there and really that's fine we can leave those window pictures alone uh, but usually when I'm out in the field looking at these photos guys I I take a bunch right so in this particular folder here it looks like as a list let's view as a list I had uh, 45 items that's kind of low you know typically I'm usually taking 50 to 100 pictures of a property it's better to take more photos than not enough because you can delete photos. You don't have to use all of them. But going back, nobody wants to do that, especially if you're wholesaling, right? Like, you don't have any money invested in this. You just have it under contract, and we are going to be selling our contract. So keep it simple. All right, so now that I have my front primary picture and I have the rest of these in, in somewhat of a decent order, that's good. Um, next, what I want to do is I want to go up here and I want to just set some statuses. So I want to put this as available, which is actually going to make it go live on my site. It is for sale. It's a single family. Uh, it's a rehab or a rental. I'm going to mark this one as a rental. And the listing price that I'm going to put this out at is just going to be $12,500. I have it at $5,000. Uh, I think I can get the seller down $500 to another $1,000 if necessary. And, you know, I want to shoot to make, you know, five to seven grand, right? If I can't get five to seven grand, uh-oh, something didn't work. Save. What's it doing here? Edit. 12,500. Let's take the, well, maybe we need to refresh here. Let's do a quick refresh. There it goes. And my pictures are still in order. Yep, didn't lose that. All right, cool. So the um, price is twelve five. I have it under contract at five. Originally, when I went there, they told me that they would sell it to me for thirty five hundred, and that's what really got me interested. Like, I don't want to buy this house. I told them that I wasn't going to be the end buyer; that it was going to be a partner of mine. But they didn't have any other choice, and no real estate agent's going to want to take on a listing for thirty five hundred. I mean, what's the commission on? $3,500, you make five, 6% of that, best case, it's like nothing, right? So this is a great deal for us investor wholesalers, right? All right, so back here, I got my address in, I got my marketing as available, uh, for sale, single family, 12.5. I also have in my bed, bath, square foot, and year built. Next, I'm just gonna do a, a, a quick little catchy title, right? So I'm going to say great rental opportunity, high ROI, all right, high return on investment. And I'm literally just going to copy and paste that down into the short description. Keep it simple. Now in my edit property description, this is where I want to add in any information about the property. You don't need to add in crazy amounts of information, guys. Like look at the one that we have here in the description. Like that's actually a lot of information in my opinion, right? We'll usually add an estimated ARV, an asking price, maybe an estimated you know, rental income or something along those lines. Uh, but again, we just, we wanna keep it, keep it really simple, all right? So heading back on over to REI Black Book, I am going to copy and paste the address. And this is actually, I believe, Cahokia. So, uh-oh, where did I go? Here we go. And we're going to take this out. Somebody's calling me here. 
Cahokia. And then we're going to say two bed, one bath, slab. We're going to say, what happened to my mouse here? I lost my mouse. Uh-oh, I lost my Bluetooth completely. I have no control. No. <laughs> Connection lost. Okay, well, it's connected again. There it goes. I'm back. Good deal, good deal. All right, 950 square foot. Um, and then we're going to say backs to middle school. And then we're going to say ARV. I don't really know the ARV. I mean, it could be... PropStream showing the ARV at 82, 83,000, which I know isn't right, right? I don't really want to, you know, I'm not really trying to confuse people and or tell them something that it's not. So ARV, you know, I'm just going to really put, um, I don't think that this thing wouldn't appraise for at least 30. You know, it could go for as high as 50K. I mean, I'm just going to use a, a range because I don't really know. All right, I'm going to put the repairs at approximately 10K. And we're going to put the asking at 12,500. All right. Um, next, what we're going to do is we are going to say call for lockbox. When I was out there looking at it and getting my pictures, and I've only been once and I don't plan on going back. Right. Um, I put a lockbox on the property while I was out there taking my photos. All right. So I'm going to say call for lockbox code and Laura's number is I'm going to have her manage the dispo on this one easy access to text call Laura to view so we don't even need the lockbox information and then I'm going to click save and that's really it that's all I need um, to give out now if somebody doesn't agree with my ARV well that's fine you know if they think the repairs are different than that that's fine everyone to do their own due diligence we're asking 125 if they put 10 in it and they paid us full price they'd be at 225 oh you know one thing i do want to add in is the amount of rent right so let's go back and we can say you know should rent for a two bed one bath right there i would think you know 800 plus monthly and again this is just an estimate um we'll actually move this up make it look a little cleaner but that's it guys i'm keeping this so simple right so they can click save so that's my marketing that's it. it's all i need i got a little catchy title i got my description i filled in my market status now if i go over here to my 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 website the discount property and i refresh is it showing nope it's not showing so there's something i didn't do right here it is Website status and featured website status. So this one here is individual website. I can create an individual website for this one, or I can use my featured website, which I want to do. So I'm going to turn that on. Property blaster off, expired date doesn't matter. Community status, we could publish this on the internal community for REI Black Book as well. And property alert date last sent, we can resend that out again. That's just to the community here. So now that I have featured website on, Market status as available. You can also see that market status up on the top up here as well. So if when I go back to this and I refresh, now, boom, new property was added just like that. Okay? So 120 Laura Lee Drive. And you'll notice that it has the zip code in there because I, I, I leave it on there, right? So here's my pictures in the order that I wanted those to be. Here's my description right there. Here's my map. So anybody can click on the map and see how close this is to the middle school, or they can see you know, what intersection or highway this is near. And if we keep zooming out, I mean, this heart is my office, um, and this is the property. It's not actually my office, but it's right there. It's down south of that a little bit. But basically, that's where it's at. So it's not that far away. We don't do a whole lot of deals over there. I don't invest in rentals in this area. So this is a wholesale, all right? Here's my neighborhood score. Not a great score, but again, not the best area. It is what it is. And then here's the school districts, right? So I can actually hover over these 
and I can actually see or click on these to see what school, what elementary, what middle, what high school, you know, these would fall into. So you have map, school, and then you can even search for schools. So this is really easy though, it keeps it simple, right? Uh, they can call us when they, you know, when, uh, when they come across this to, to get access via a lockbox, they can send us a message right here. And that's really it, it's, it's that simple. All right, now I've gotten this added to the website. So if I go back, here is my website. So now what I wanna do is I wanna get this emailed out to my list as well as I wanna send a text message out to my list as well, right? So how do I go about doing that? It's been a while, bear with me. Uh, Laura typically does this, and uh, but I'm pretty confident that I can figure this out. Okay, so check this out. When I go over here to click on email, it says template name, subject, and then it has a body, right? So it has all the information in here, uh, basically what we want already. So I'm just gonna rename this 120, Well, that's not what I wanted to do. I want to just get rid of that. There we go. So I'm going to name it the property address. And then the subject would be, hey, first name, check out this property. All right. So that's my email template right there. And I can save as email template. So then what I want to do is I want to go over here to my web tools. Actually, nope, marketing and I wanna do a broadcast. So now, what am I actually broadcasting? Am I doing a text? Am I doing a ringless voicemail? Am I doing an email? So I'm gonna do an email, and I'm gonna send, who is this coming from? This is gonna be coming from deals at Discount Property Investor, and then I can send it to individual contacts if I wanted to, or I can send to a targeted group, all right? So we have buyers set up in groups uh, for Central Corridor, Metro East, North County, South City, like basically we have it segmented into different groups. Now I could select multiple of these, but I'm just gonna select the Metro East buyers, right? I wanna send this deal to the right people. And the right people would be the people that are buying in that area already. I'm definitely not gonna send this little ten, twelve thousand $12,000 deal that needs ten thousand dollars that maybe were thirty or forty or even fifty and rents for eight hundred to the guy that's rehabbing million dollar houses. He doesn't want to be wasted his time wasted with that. So I'm not gonna do that, right? So I'm gonna select my buyers list accordingly. Now, if you have REI Black Book already, um, you can build a buyers list by clicking on subscribe within your website, and there's the form that we use to build our buyers list. Literally, it's this one page, it's so incredibly simple and this is what we use they then select all of these that they want so all would be the would be the default but if they don't want particular deals then what they can do is they can select the areas that they want again just part of the rei black book system which is really really cool okay so back over here i want to send a blast to my contacts buyer stl metro east that's the illinois buyers for the most part and then what i want to do is i want to select the template. So choose an email template. I know it's going to be 120 Laura Lee Drive because that's what I saved it as. All right. So here's my email template. And before I send it, I do want to edit my template a little bit. And I click somewhere that I shouldn't. Um, so basically, this is the email that's going to be sent out. And it says, give me a call if you'd like to see the property. Um, but typically what I like to do is I like to edit it a little bit more. So these here, what I'm going to do is I am going to, where is my, actually, it doesn't even matter. I don't even need to change any of this per se. Um, see you soon. Take care. Our name, our phone, our email, and our website are going to be mail merged into this particular email. And the only thing that I, it does have the asking price actually right there, boom. So I don't even really need to put any more info in here because they can click in to see the pictures, go over to the website and see that description, right? So that's really it. There's really, that's all there is to it in terms of my template. Keep it simple, don't overthink it, all right? Now it says edit email template, customize your email template before you send. So in the event that I clicked edit here, 
that's what it would pop open or I can click open but I just want to hit continue and then it's gonna basically say preview my contact list so my total recipients for this email blast are gonna be 2970 estimated credit usage would be 200 970 contacts that have opted out is 200 or 653 Contacts with unknown opt-ins are zero, and contacts with invalids 31. So actually, about 20, I don't know, 22, 2300 of these are going to send because they're not going to send it to the opt-outs. And again, we we don't want to be, you know, bothering people with this. It's going to come from deals at Discount Property Investor, and you can see our subject is going to say, "Hey, first name." So hey, Dave. Hey, Tom. Hey, Bill. Check out this property, right? And then when they click on here or here or here. That's going to take them to our website. So I'm going to click send email blast and boom, just like that. I added a property to REI Black Book. Got the pictures up, got the description up, and sent out an email blast to the buyers that are specific to that buying area. All right. Now, I don't do any, uh, any basically contact management in REI Black Book. So I'm going to go send a text blast as well, but I'm actually not going to do it in REI Blackbook. I'm going to do it in my other platform. Doesn't matter, neither here nor there, but I do want to mention that because adding it to my website and emailing it out to those specific buyers isn't it. I'm not done, right? What I'm going to do now is I'm going to text that out to those buyers that want to be updated of deals Excuse me, via SMS. And then I'm gonna go and I'm gonna put this property on the Facebook marketplace. I'm gonna post it in the local Facebook groups. Uh, and I might even make some posts and put those up on Craigslist as well, guys. The more eyeballs I can get on my deals, the more interest I'm gonna have. Um, one of my coaches from five years ago, basically the, the my main coach who taught me this business, his name is Joe McCall. I'm gonna give a, a huge shout out to Joe. One thing that Joe taught me a long time ago, and it rings true to today, is there's only two reasons why your deals don't sell. One, not enough people saw it. Like you're not doing enough marketing. Or two, it's not a deal. The price is too high. So if you can get the price down to, to in the deal level and enough people see it, there's no reason that you can't sell all of your deals, all of them. So if I'm not able to, to, to generate a cash buyer from these efforts right here, right? Adding it to my site, emailing it out, as well as texting it out, adding it to Facebook Marketplace, Facebook Groups, and Craigslist. That's it. That's all we do. That's the, that's the whole secret on how we dispo properties. REI Black Book is basically our secret weapon, though, because it just makes it easy to have a site for dispositions, add those photos and those descriptions to that site, get it to populate on it, um, as well as manage the email contacts and the buyer's list opt-ins. It's all right there in one single place. Now, before we wrap up this today, I do wanna say if I'm not able to get a buyer, I have a $7,500 spread right now. So what I can do is I can drop the price, right? And email it out and, and remarket it out again if I need to, okay? Or what I can do is I can go back to the seller and I was very transparent. If you guys have been watching from the beginning, you'll have note you'll know that I had you know I always go into these type of deals with with the utmost transparency. I don't ever want to have to make a call to a seller that I don't want to make. Instead, I look forward to making calls to sellers when I can't sell their deal because I I basically say, hey, I told you from the beginning that I bring a partner in on every one of my deals, and guess what? At the price that I'm willing to, or that we agreed to pay, I didn't find that partner. So you have two options. You can give me a better price or you can give me more time. And typically I ask for both. And if they don't want to do that, well, then good luck selling your you know, $5,000 house in Cahokia. I'm just trying to help and make a little bit of money in the process, right? And again, I'm just very transparent with that, all right? And that's it. That's all there is to it. This is 39 minutes going right now. Um, if I wasn't describing what I was doing, and or trying to manage a computer and a microphone and a live and all that other stuff, I can typically get this done in under 10 minutes, guys. Getting the photos added, the description on the site, email blast it out, um, and then maybe another 10 or 20 minutes to go text it out, post it to those groups, Facebook groups, Facebook Marketplace, and Craigslist, those three places online that we do our posting, and that's it. 
So essentially you can do this in 15 or 20 minutes um, as long as you have the right tools. All right, guys, that's all I got. I guess I'll open it up for questions just for a minute. And then, uh, and then I got to run. Super Big Head said, just got REIBB this month. Best thing smoking. <laughs> awesome, man. Yeah, we've been a customer, I think, since 2013. So I'm going on seven years of being a customer of this software. It's amazing. Again, um, it does it all. You know, we, we have choose to, to just kind of use it for the website, the, the buyer's list, and the dispo um, just because we had other things at the time. You know, but if I was just starting out, you know, this this one product can do it all. It's a phone system, um, text blast, email blasts, you name it. It, it has all that stuff built into it, um, as well as the landing pages and the website. So, like, this is awesome. So, I could send somebody this link here, the discountpropertyinvestor.com, or I could get click into the actual property, and then you have a listing ID link, and you can send that link as well. So, when I go do my marketing on my SMS in a minute, I'm going to take this link right here. I'm going to send that link out. And I'm just going to say, hey, I got a good deal over in Cahokia. 12500 is my asking. It needs about ten grand worth of work. But, you know, if you could be all in for 25000 and rent it for eight hundred, that's a pretty good deal. All right? 1% rule for eighty for an $800 a month rent and property would be 80000 2% would be 45000 Half of that, right? Or, I'm sorry, uh, four, four, 40000 so they could be all in for 25,000, which is basically like a 3%, 3.5% property. It's actually a really, that's a really good ROI. And that's it. That's all there is to it. Uh, Miss H says she's in St. Louis as well. She's a newbie. Awesome. Hey, Miss H, go check out freewholesalecourse.com. Uh, you can learn the basics of this business for free. You don't need to buy a bunch of courses uh, or hire a coach. Um, necessarily to learn the basics at least, right? So I definitely highly recommend everybody go check out freewholesalecourse.com. And guys, that's it. That's really all there is to it. Dispositioning a property. Keep it simple. Check out REI Black Book. Signing off.